Let's simplify if possible. Here we have the cubed root of the quotient two-thirds. Sometimes it's easier to work with radicals if there's no radical value in the denominator. And so we're going to simplify this by rationalizing the denominator. But let's start by separating the numerator and denominator under their separate cubed root radicals. Now, let's multiply both top and bottom by something that will create a perfect cube in the denominator, something that we'll be able to take the cubed root of. We already have one three. We need two more of them to create a perfect cube value. Make sure that you do the same thing to the top and the bottom, actually multiplying here by a factor of one. Multiplying straight across in the numerator, as we're multiplying these like-indexed radicals, we just multiply the radicand values. So under this one, we have a two times three squared. In the denominator, we have a cubed root of three to the third. Three to the first times three squared is three to the third. Multiplying under that radical in the numerator, three squared is nine times two is 18. It becomes the cubed root of 18. In the denominator, the cubed root of three to the third is three. So the simplified form found by rationalizing the denominator is the cubed root of 18 all over three.